See also, Classical Central Force Problem and Celestial Mechanics The Specific Relative Angular Momentum H plays a pivotal role in the analysis of the two-body problem. One can show that it is a constant vector for a given orbit under ideal conditions. This essentially proves Kepler's second law. It's called specific angular momentum because it's not the actual angular momentum L display style VEC L but the angular momentum per mass. Thus, the word specific in this term is short for mass specific or divided by mass H equals L M Display style VEC H equals frac VEC L M. Thus the SI unit is M two S minus one M Display style M denotes the reduced mass one M equals one M one plus one M two Display style frac one M equals frac one M underscore one plus frac one M underscore two. Topic Definition The specific relative angular momentum is defined as the cross product of the relative position vector R Display style VEC R and the relative velocity vector v display style vec v h equals r times v equals l m display style vec h equals vec r times vec v equals frac vec l m the H display style vec h vector is always perpendicular to the instantaneous osculating orbital plane, which coincides with the instantaneous perturbed orbit. It would not necessarily be perpendicular to an average plane, which accounted for many years of perturbations. As usual in physics, the magnitude of the vector quantity h display style vec h is denoted by h display style h h equals h display style h equals left vec h right topic proof that the specific relative angular momentum is constant under ideal conditions Topic Prerequisites The following is only valid under the simplifications also applied to Newton's law of universal gravitation. One looks at two point masses M one Display style M underscore one and M two Display style M underscore two at the distance r display style r from one another and with the gravitational force f equals g m 1 m 2 r 2 r r Display style VEC F equals G frac M underscore one M underscore two R carrot two frac VEC R R acting between them. This force acts instantly, over any distance and is the only force present. The coordinate system is inertial. The further simplification M one M two Display style m underscore one g g m underscore two is assumed in the following. 
Thus, m one display style m underscore one is the central body in the origin of the coordinate system, and m two display style m underscore two is the satellite orbiting around it. Now the reduced mass is also equal to m two display style m underscore two. And the equation of the two-body problem is R equals minus mu R two R R display style d d o t v e c r equals frac mu r caret two frac v e c r r with the standard gravitational parameter mu equals G M one display style mu equals G M underscore one and the distance vector R display style VEC R absolute value R display style R that points from the origin central body to the satellite because of its negligible mass it is important not to confound the gravitational parameter mu display style mu with the reduced mass which is sometimes also denoted by the same letter mu display style mu topic proof one obtains the specific relative angular momentum by multiplying cross product the equation of the two body problem with the distance vector r display style vec r r times r equals minus r times mu r 2 r R display style vec r times d d o t vec r equals vec r times frac mu r caret two frac vec r r. The cross product of a vector with itself right hand side is zero. The left hand side simplifies to r times r equals r times R plus R times R equals D R times R D T equals zero Display style VEC R times D D O T VEC R equals dot VEC R times dot VEC R plus VEC R times D D O T VEC R equals frac mathram D left VEC R times dot VEC R right mathram D T equals zero according to the product rule of differentiation. This means that R times r display style vec r times dot vec r is constant ie a conserved quantity and this is exactly the angular momentum per mass of the satellite h equals r times r is const Display style VEC H equals VEC R times dot VEC R text is const. This vector is perpendicular to the orbit plane. The orbit remains in this plane because the angular momentum is constant. One can obtain further insight into the two-body problem with the definitions of the flight path angle. Phi Display style phi and the transversal and radial component of the velocity vector see illustration on the right the next three formulas are all equivalent possibilities to calculate the absolute value of the specific relative angular momentum vector h equals r 
v cos phi display style h equals rv cos phi h equals r 2 theta display style h equals r caret 2 dot theta h equals mu p display style h equals sqrt mu p where p display style p is called the semi lattice rectum of the curve topic kepler's laws of planetary motion Kepler's laws of planetary motion can be proved almost directly with the above relationships. Topic: <laughs> First law. The proof starts again with the equation of the two-body problem. This time one multiplies it cross product with the specific relative angular momentum r times h equals minus mu r 2 r r times h display style d d o t v e c r times v e c h equals frac mu r caret 2 frac v e c r r times v e c h the left hand side is equal to the derivative D D T R times H display style frac mathrm D mathrm D T left dot VEC R times VEC H right because the angular momentum is constant. After some steps, the right hand side becomes minus mu R 3 r times h equals minus mu r 3 r v r minus r 2 v equals minus mu r 2 r r minus mu r v equals mu d d t r r Display style frac mu r carrot three left vec r times vec h right equals frac mu r carrot three left left vec r c d o t vec v right vec r r carrot two vec v right equals left frac mu r carrot two dot r vec r frac mu r vec v right equals mu frac mathrm d mathrm d t left frac VEC R R right. Setting these two expression equal and integrating over time leads to with the constant of integration C display style VEC C R times H equals mu R R plus C Display style dot VEC R times VEC H equals mu frac VEC R R plus VEC C. Now this equation is multiplied dot product with R display style VEC R and rearranged R R times H equals R mu r r 
plus C R times R H equals mu R plus R C cos theta H two equals mu R plus R C cos theta display style begin aligned VEC R C D O T left dot VEC R times VEC H right and equals VEC R C D O T left mu frac VEC R R plus VEC C right rig Raro left VEC R times dot VEC R right C D O T VEC H and equals mu R plus R C cos theta right arrow H carrot two and equals mu R plus R C cos theta end aligned. Finally one gets the orbit equation R equals H two mu one plus C mu cos theta. Display style R equals frac frac H carrot two mu one plus frac C mu cos theta, which is the equation of a conic section in polar coordinates with semi lattice rectum p equals h two mu display style p equals frac h caret two mu and eccentricity e equals c mu display style e equals frac c mu. This proves Kepler's first law. In words, the orbit of a planet is an ellipse with the sun at one focus. Topic: Second law. The second law follows instantly from the second of the three equations to calculate the absolute value of the specific relative angular momentum. If one connects this form of the equation d t equals r 2 h d theta Display style mathrm d t equals frac r caret two h mathrm d theta with the relationship d a equals r two two d theta. Display style mathrm d a equals frac r caret two two mathrm d theta. For the area of a sector with an infinitesimal small angle d theta, display style mathrm d theta, triangle with one very small side, the equation d t equals two h d a. Display style mathrm d t equals frac two h mathrm d a comes out. That is the mathematical formulation of the words. The line joining the planet to the sun sweeps out equal areas in equal times. Topic third law. Kepler's third is a direct consequence of the second law. Integrating over one revolution gives the orbital period t equals two pi a b h display style t equals frac two pi ab h for the area pi a b display style pi ab of an ellipse. Replacing the semi-minor axis with b equals a p display style b equals sqrt app and the specific relative angular momentum with h equals mu p display style h equals sqrt mu p one gets t equals 2 pi a 3 mu display style t equals 2 pi sqrt frac a caret 3 mu there is thus a relationship between the semi major axis and the orbital period of a satellite that can be reduced to a constant of the central body this is the same as the famous formulation of the law the square of the period of a planet is proportional to the cube of its mean distance to the Sun. See also 
specific orbital energy, another conserved quantity in the two-body problem. <laughs> Notes <laughs>